when you're being interviewed. Are you taking a snapshot? What are you filming for? We are Chad. Oh wow, look at you go. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm so nervous. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, hi, I'm Laura Macri. I'm in 12th grade and I play volleyball. <laughs> I started playing volleyball my freshman year. Um, I played in some of the clinics that Coach Amster runs for the middle school. I got cut from the soccer team. <laughs> I just wanted something to keep me busy, wanted to be on a team, and I definitely didn't expect to like it as much as I ended up loving it, actually. I cannot be more thankful to whoever was the coach at the time that cut her. Was it a dare? It might, it might have been a dare. But, so thank you for that, but um, because she got cut, she was able to try out for volleyball and right away we kind of knew that she was an athlete and could move and obviously you can't teach height, so it's definitely something that's benefited her over the years. I started playing club after my freshman season ended um, and I knew that I wanted to keep playing because I just had so much fun and I loved it. So I tried out. Love is just definitely a different level of competition it's a lot of practicing, a lot of hours. I think the main difference between club and high school is that you can make so much more progress between like all the hours you're playing and staying with pretty much the same team for such a long time. Over the years, she's gained more confidence, not only so much as a player, but also as a person. And you could see that in her level of play. You know, coming out being a very timid and reserved freshman, and over the years, she's just completely dominated on the court. I think it's definitely easy to say that Laura was one of the main strengths we had this season and one of the reasons we were able to get as far as we did um, because she basically could do it all. Wherever coach wanted her to play, she did it and executed to the best of her ability, which most of the time was more than any of us could ask for. For high school, I'm a middle blocker, so I stay in the front row. I mainly hit and block for a club. I'm an outside hitter, so I play both front row and back row, so I hit, block, and pass. Laura has been a really big leader to everybody on the team, and it's easy to tell from any viewpoint. She got um, voted MVP at our banquet, so I think she just made it very obvious to everybody that she was willing to help, whether it was on or off the court. She's somebody that the girls really look up to on all three levels of the program, and. Um, see guidance from her and advice when it comes to volleyball playing but also things outside of volleyball. I really love being on a team and volleyball is very much like team oriented. She had a lot of kills, a lot of aces, a lot of digs, some blocks as well. She played middle and outside for us, was a force from the serving line and just really stepped into whatever role that we needed that day, that game, that practice and really just made it all happen. When Laura graduates I'm gonna miss absolutely everything about her. She's one of the nicest people I've ever met. She's easily the funniest person I've ever met. And I just think she has the ability to brighten everybody's day and everybody's mood, no matter who it is or where or when. I'm going to a D1 school and I hope <laughs> that the club team is competitive. I know that they practice twice a week and like have games on the weekends. And I didn't want to do something that was gonna take away from school, but I definitely can't imagine not playing. 